and welcome to the latest Lethbridge College cooking lesson. I'm Liz Morgan and I'd like to welcome Chef Mark Deezer here with me today. Hi Liz, it's great to be here today. Thanks. Thank you. So today we're going to be cooking jambalaya, more specifically Creole jambalaya, which is actually a favorite in New Orleans and it's great for fall because it's got a bit of a kick to it and it's really hearty. Yeah, absolutely. Liz, this dish comes from New Orleans. It's based out of there. Where its original creation came from, I'm not too sure. There's so mm -hmm. many ethnicities in New Orleans. They've all put their little flair on this dish, but it makes it for a great meal. Awesome. And speaking of flair, I know that you've tweaked this recipe a little bit to kind of make it your own. What's different about it than other jambalaya recipes? So this one I've taken and put just the basics into this. So it allows anybody else to modify it as they need, different ingredients. I've even made this jambalaya vegetarian, so it's, it's a wonderful choice, good options. That's great, I'm so excited to try it. And we're gonna start with our seasoning, our Creole seasoning. Um, you can buy this at a store, but we kinda like to make it from scratch, so what's included in the spice? So in all of these Creole spice that we have, I like to add these different parts to make it my own. We have coarse salt, ground black pepper, onion powder, cayenne pepper, oregano, thyme, and then two parts of garlic powder and two parts of paprika, which gives it that nice rich color. Okay, and paprika is also good if I think if you want to make it a bit spicier or even adding more pepper to the seasoning, or when we were making the dish, we can probably add a, a hot pepper or even some hot sauce. Absolutely, Liz, you can add any of those things to spice it up if you like to, you bet. Let's look at all the ingredients. 12 peeled and deveined shrimp, a cup of chicken thigh meat, a tablespoon of Creole seasoning blend, two tablespoons olive oil, a quarter cup of onion, large diced, a quarter cup of green pepper, large diced, a quarter cup of celery, large diced, two tablespoons minced garlic, one and a half cups andouille sausage, half a cup fresh tomatoes, coarsely chopped, one and a half cup chicken stock, three quarters cups rice, three bay leaves, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper to taste. All right, so let's get started. Absolutely, Liz. So our first step is take our shrimp and our chicken and mix it together with our Creole seasoning. We can do that up to an hour ahead and uh, put it in the fridge for safekeeping. Okay. So next, we're gonna take our olive oil, heat it in our Dutch oven or heavy gauge pot that we have here, and then add our onions, green peppers, and celery. I'm going to sweat those, and what that is is cooking without color. We don't want to brown them. So how long should we cook that for? All those vegetables, again, we want them to just become translucent. So it's about six to seven minutes. Okay. Then we'll add in our garlic. Again, just add that, sweat a little bit. Again, don't cook it with any color. Then we'll start adding our shrimp, our chicken, and our andouille sausage. And how long do those cook together? Once mixed together, they'll stew together for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then we're gonna add our seasonings, our Worcester and our bay leaves. Again, give that a good stir. And after we're gonna add our tomatoes. We're gonna add the rice, and the important part is to stir the rice to ensure that it gets coated with that fat so it doesn't stick on you a little later. Then we'll add our chicken stock, put a lid on it, let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. How about we give it a try, Liz? Sounds good. You know, this recipe is good for about four to six people to enjoy. And if you have leftovers, all the better, even better the next day. It's so good. Thank you so much for helping us make this recipe. You can find this in your 2014 fall issue of Wider Horizons or online at widerhorizons.ca. And come through the academic year and try our student creations in the Garden Court Restaurant. For reservations, call 403-382-6999. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know how you like the recipe and we'll see you next time.